today we're going to look at algebraic division. Um, this is a method of long division which you may need a little reminder of um, since you probably haven't done it since way back in primary school, maybe not even then. Um, but this is an alternative to equating coefficients. It's another way of finding quotients and remainders and factors and so on. Okay, so let's have a look at numeric long division first of all. So say you are asked to do this. 8,562 divided by 7. We're going to do it the long division way. So this means we have to set up our division like this first of all. And we think, how many 7s go into 8? Well, that's 1. Then underneath you write down what that result would be. So 1 7 would make 7. You subtract it from you, what you started with to find the remainder, and you have 1 left over. You bring down the 5 the next column over to carry that one over into the next number. So then you think how many sevens go into 15? That would be two. And the result of two sevens would give us 14. So you write the result down there, you subtract it to get your remainder that will be carried on to the six that's next. So you bring down the next number and you've got 16. So the next thought is how many sevens go into 16? That again is two and it makes 14, we take that off to find our remainder, which is 2. We bring down the next number to carry it over, and you've got how many 7s go into 22, that would be 3, that makes 21, we take it off to find our final remainder of 1. So our total answer there is 100 and, sorry, 1,223 and 1 seventh. Because that remainder of 1 still gets divided by the 7 at the end, so you add it as a 1 7th. Okay, so how do we do this with algebra? So we're going to divide this cubic by x minus 1. So we set up a long division, just like you saw with the numbers. It looks like this. So we're looking at x minus 1 into x cubed minus 3x squared minus x plus 3. So first of all, we think how many times will it go into that first term? How many times does it go into x cubed? And to, we need to think, what would I need to multiply that x by to make x cubed? And that would be an x squared. Now notice that I'm writing it above the column for x squared. It's important that you keep your um, working out all lined up properly with this. So if we multiplied that x minus 1 by x squared, what would we get? So we write that underneath like this. We subtract it to see what the remainder would be. And you can see x cubed minus x cubed is nothing, of course, because that was the whole point of multiplying that by x squared. And minus 3x squared minus x squared is minus 2x squared. So that's the remainder that we carry over onto the next column. So we bring down our minus x and we work with this minus 2x squared minus x. So now we're thinking, what do we need to multiply the x by to make 2x squared? And that would be minus 2x. So minus 2x times by x minus 1 is minus 2x squared plus 2x. Then you subtract that and you've got minus 3x. That's your remainder that's left to carry over onto the next bit. So we bring down our plus 3 and we're looking at how many x's go into minus 3x. So we would have to times that x by minus 3. So multiply that x minus 1 by minus 3 to see what you get. Subtract it, and we have a remainder of 0. So that means that we've divided exactly. We've got no remainder. So if we do our cubic divided by x minus 1, it gives us a final answer of x squared minus 2x minus 3. This is called the quotient. Now, next example. Find the quotient and remainder when x to the power of 4 plus 5 is divided by x squared minus 2x plus 2. So let's set up our long division. Now, the first problem is that we don't have any terms of x after the x to the 4, and we need them to be able to set up our columns properly. So you add them in as zeros. So we've got a 0x cubed, a 0x squared, a 0x, and then our plus 5. And you'll see why it'll become obvious as we work through. So first of all, we need to multiply x squared by x squared to make x to the power of 4. So then we times the whole thing by x squared and write underneath what it gives us. 
That's the x squared minus 2x plus 2 multiplied by x squared. We take it away to find our remainder. We bring down the next column and then we work with that line there. So now we're thinking what do we times x squared by to make 2x, 2x cubed? That would be multiplied by 2x. So now if we uh, multiply our divisor by all of that, then we get 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x. We subtract it to find what's left and we bring down the next column to carry it over onto there. So now what do we times x squared by to make 2x squared? We need to multiply it by 2. So if we times that divisor through by 2 we get this and we will subtract to find our remainder and we can't carry on any further than that. So that's our final remainder. So our quotient is x squared plus 2x plus 2 and our remainder is 1.